Careful who you cross, careful who you test Give me your worst and you'll get my best Cause I don't Here we are ladies and gentlemen. The day has finally arrived. The King Song S18 has reached US soil. We are in sunny South Florida. It is hot. Oh man, it is really hot. But we're here to ride a unicycle with the first ever suspension. Now this wheel has been provided by E-Wheels. You can go there and order it right now if you want to. I think you might want to. Today we're gonna to be doing the EVX test. So the EVX test is basically we have this cup here that I have crudely put a millimeter and inch ruler onto. I'm gonna fill it up with water right up to the eight line here. And then we are going to test my Gatway Nicola riding on this bumpy dirt road we have here. And then we're gonna try it with the suspension wheel. And we're gonna see how they fare. So basically we wanna see how little water gets displaced between each unicycle. I mean, the goal is no water displaced, but we'll see what happens. Coming alive. Before we start, there's a couple of things I'm gonna do for consistency. I'm just gonna put it out there just to be as scientific as we can. I'm gonna keep my knees just barely bent, so almost straight legged, just so I don't compensate because I'm used to compensating on a non-suspension wheel. And I'm also gonna just tape this cup to my hand so it doesn't slip out while I'm riding. Safety first, got my helmet on already. I know you can't see it. All right, so I got the tape started and I'm just gonna tape this to my hand so we can get an accurate reading. And I, all right, here we go, folks. I have it right at the uh, eight millimeter line with my water there. So we're gonna see how much gets displaced. Sorry, I got a little wet when I was pouring this. We're gonna see how much water gets displaced while we ride down this bumpy path. Let's get going. And I'm gonna keep about 20 miles, uh, 15 miles an hour. Just an average speed. Oh. Oh, some spillage already. Whoa. Whoa, hey. Crazy. Coming up to the end here. Whoa. All right, I think we've done it. Wow, 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 I am soaked. My pants are soaked and Nicholas soaked. Man, we lost about, we're at like six and three quarters. So uh, one and three quarter millimeters we lost on that ride. And I am soaked to the bone here. It's all over. <laughs> so that was the uh, official non-suspension test. We lost about, what I say, one and, one and a quarter, one and a quarter millimeters. I honestly thought that was gonna be so much better. I didn't realize just how much of the bumps that I was really taking with my Gotway Nicola. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm soaked. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that crazy. Um, yeah, but I mean, I guess here's a baseline. Uh, I've done this test quite a few times, so this is just me finally recording it, but this was probably the most dramatic out of all the times. Um, anyways, let's just dive into the S18 test. All right, guys, this is the official S18 EVX test with the water displacement. Here we go on the bumpy back road, what I'm calling the 6th Avenue of South Florida. Whew, I'm nervous about this. <laughs> I really hope it works. All right, let's do it. Again, keeping pretty much straight legged just to feel it all and see. Yeah, stop talking, Mickey. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Up to speed. Okay, honestly, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. But there's heavy bumps ahead. Oh. 
Right about here is where the Nikola failed. Um, I can't believe my eyes. To my eyes, we have zero displacement. That's zero water was displaced for the S18. I don't, this can't be right. Let's run it again. This, there's no way. Well, running it back is like running it again. We're running it back. All right. All right, I'm up to speed. This is insane, guys. It's insane. Small amount of displacement just there. I'm gonna go farther to see how far on this back road we can go before we have any displacement. Holy crap, nothing. Oh wait, giant jump, giant bump right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, looking at it in the light. It's, it's like a 16th or 32nd of a millimeter displacement. That is wild, that is wild. This is so crazy. The S18 for the win. Whoa, that was insane. Look at the other test compared to this. Like I honestly thought that the S18 would have like some mild form of water displacement. There was like almost nothing that came out of that thing. That was wild. Who'd have thunk? Like we all thought suspension was gonna be a thing we wanted, but man, <laughs> man, tell me what you thought down below. Like this is a crazy example of how great this stuff is. Uh, I'm gonna have a full review coming out very soon, so stay tuned for that and we'll get to see all the nitty gritty ins and outs of what this thing does, but it's a big swan dive test. This has been a very successful day. Well, I mean, it's very conclusive that this works. Suspension is not a gimmick, it is not a myth. Um, now it's to be determined if the S18 versus the V11, uh, who's gonna win? I mean, I think I have a feeling already who's gonna win that battle. Um, but look, I'm not gonna hold out judgment until it's time, so. Man, this is wild. All right, so, just should be noted that when you're riding the S18, um, you do have to unfortunately tune it for the terrain you're riding. So unfortunately, it's not going to be a wheel where you can go from, you know, street to mountain bike trail to giant drop off mountain bike trail to stair riding. You kind of have to tune the suspension to the thing you're doing the most. So like, I, I wouldn't suggest put tuning it into the middle of all those kind of things. I would pick one and stick to it. So if you're going to be going on a trail, tune it for that trail. Um, but I'm gonna have a whole video going into how to tune this thing the proper way. All right guys, so that about wraps it up for my official S18 EVX test. And if you end up buying this wheel or the V11, do the EVX test. Hit me up on Instagram, send me your video. All the best ones, I'll feature it in my stories. Um, but this test is a really surefire way to make sure you get your stuff fine-tuned. Uh, that's a really fun ride. I still can't believe how well this stuff works. Man, my arm's getting tired. Uh, anyways, uh, you can buy this at ewheels.com. Uh, if you're in Europe, you can also buy it at myewheel.com. But again, Jason at ewheels graciously provided this wheel for me to test out and review. Um, stay tuned, I have my full, official full review of the S18 coming up very soon, uh, and also the V11. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all I got for you. This has been very fun, my blood is pumping right now. Uh, my adrenaline's going. Anyways, we're just gonna sign off. So comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, keep riding.